All right, today guys, we're gonna be working on some of our framing of this post frame building and just kind of show you a couple uh, just ways to uh, kind of do it, I guess, to simplify it. Um, so just kind of going to take you along with it, us today and show you some pointers and uh, let you follow along. David. Okay, so we went ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and start, but we're gonna make this corner post plumb true. And then we're just gonna simply use that as a reference mark to bring all our girts off and we're just gonna measure it. So I'll kind of show you a simple way to, that we're gonna kind of do that. Um, this building is 16 foot tall, so we're gonna go up to the 14 foot mark and with our girders. And essentially we're just going two foot on centers right here. Two foot, four foot, six foot, eight foot, 10 foot, 12 foot, so on. And we're gonna be using this bottom splashboard as a reference. So simply just come up two foot to the tops of everything, four foot to the top, six foot, and that's just a real simple way. And that's the way we're kind of gonna do it. So um, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing the framing. I'm just gonna show you a quick way to, um, I guess, do it without having to measure. And it still comes out pretty true. Okay, so we, we went ahead and laid out a couple boards full length. These are posts are eight foot on center. So I'm using 16s that seam every other post. Um, now, this post is true. Um, so that's a reference mark to get every all the other posts lined up. And you can measure out each one if you want to individually with the tape, but as you get further along, that becomes kind of cumbersome. So this is what I'm doing. I'm taking two boards, and I'm just going to go ahead and lay them out right where they are. And then that's where that post should line up on the post there. Same thing with this one. Go ahead and mark this. Mark it here. Like that. All the way through. Even with your seams, because I went and tacked it so I know it's not going to move. This is the way it's going to be. Mark this. Sorry for the lighting. Like that. All the way through. And basically that's just going to keep it all true. Building like a box. And we're going to go ahead and take one of these rows and go about halfway up. And then also do the same thing with the top. And then we're just going to straighten in the middle, straighten in the top, and not worry about each board. And then after that, we can just nail and go bananas. I'm going to go to the other side. 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 I
So this is an overhead door and this post has got a bow in it, a good wonk, and we want it pretty straight for our metal. So we're going to see if we can pull some of it out. So we snapped a line to kind of give us a reference line. And I made this a little short on purpose and we're going to see if we can pull this post in. And it's, I mean, it's stout, so we'll see what we can do. Oh. Let me go a little more. Look at that. Are we close there? Oh, yeah. So we probably picked up three sixteenths. Snap line's really close. But that's one way to do it if you need to straighten the post. You can only do so much. Now we'll just go ahead and cut these afterwards. That's good. Okay, so we are going to be doing a beam system on our for our trusses instead of just bearing on the post. We're going to put double LVLs, 11 7 8 by inch and three quarter, which are pretty big. Um, but we are going to be bearing on the post. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to do what the engineer is calling for and is saying let one in. And what we're going to be doing is notching the size of the LVL, one of them, into the post so it can bear on top. And the next one's going to go on the outside flush with the girts and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and show you how I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the grade we got a snap line here that I figured out my ceiling height and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and notch it and show you what we're doing Just simply like that, 
Um, and the one's going to completely bear on here. And then the next one's going to make it a double. And um, yeah, so that's how we're going to do it. i got to go cut the rest of these. And then uh, we'll be ready to put up our LVL beams up. Assembly like that, um, and the one's going to completely bare on here, and then the next one's going to make it a double. And um, yeah, so that's how we're going to do it. I got to go cut the rest of these, and then uh, we'll be ready to put up our LVL beams up. So we're doing a double LVL for uh, about every 12 inches, a four nail pattern. Uh, but then in the post, we're putting three 40D nails, what the engineer's calling for, and just pounding them in. So then after that, you got a super stout beam. It's gonna hold the whole roof. Whoops.
Down, so, sweet, moving forward. I just found these. 